Dark Brotherhood Sanctum. Well, that's probably the best option, really, isn't it? Um, so, in this little episode, I know this is going to be the last episode of the week, so you'll get this on the Wednesday when I'm recording more. It's like I'm talking in a week in the future here. Um, I'm going to try and at least get to the Pilgrim's Path so we can start that up next time. If I do start it, then uh, I'll do a, I'll start it. Why not? I'll do a bit of it. But, uh, you know. He trained to hit me? I don't know. It's probably a random Imperial Guard who I didn't kill when uh, he was saving the Brotherhood, but yeah. Wolves, I'm not, I'm not even going to get off my horse for you. Pilgrim's Path. Periite's Shrine's over there on the right one. The one on the left is the Pilgrim thing. Every time frame rate goes a bit weird like that, I'm quick saving. I maybe should have mentioned that earlier, but I forgot. What the hell's going on here? I think it's a Spriggan and... You're a random traveler, aren't you? The Spriggan, however, is not. Are you? Everyone else? You good? Oh, he was a hunter. I'll take the gold. You guys got balls. Oh, there's a, kind of a saber cat down there, but screw it. I'll leave him alone. I can't be bothered. All right, here we go. We're here already. That's pretty quick. Twilight Sepulchre. There we go. And let's go in here. That only took me two minutes. There I am talking about. Hopefully we'll get there. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Like, no. That was easy. And uh, I don't think gonna, I'm going to be able to do this in 20 minutes. Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Alrighty then. What up, homie? I don't recognize but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Old Man McCraggy. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. You're Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Whooped ass. As in, I whooped his ass. Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Uh, I did this to get rich. You've done the guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Ah. <sighs> Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. 
The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Alright. With the Ebonmere closed and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglade, Okay, basically I we're fucked. Gone a drastic change. Now there is a journal in here talking about a specific story to do with two people, I believe, who went on the pilgrim uh pilgrim thing. Way pass. Really can't remember. But uh yeah, there's a Oh, I am following it. Right then. Don't know why it's telling me to go out there. But uh, yeah, there's a story which is very interesting if you do want to take the time and look out there. Not outside, but it's just out there where uh, Gallus is or Gallus' spirit is. So you can go ahead and find out about that. You'll find journals and stuff in here as well to do with the same story. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it's basically about how two pilgrims go through the, the Pilgrim Pass. Um, and it, it basically goes through their adventure together. Which is pretty good. It's not much of a pilgrim's crap pass if the pilgrims need to kill everything. Oh, wait, I remember. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, items. Potions. I haven't really been stocking up on potions, have I? I can shout your ass off. Not doing a bad job so far. It's always confused me, like fighting spectrals. Items, potions, more healing. Alright, there's that one dead. Take his elven arrows. That's the one out here. Ow. And there we go. I will return. Y you will return as well, that's the troubling thing. Not specifically that one, but more of them. But uh, yeah, so... Didn't want to do that. No, I'm gonna need you with me all of the time. Take the soul gem. Don't need that. Don't need any of this. In fact, why? Why am I in here? I don't know. And uh, let's just have a look up here for curiosity's sake. A massive boulder will attack me. And gold, gold, gold. Read all these books. I like the fact they put all this stuff in the game. Yeah, you can read everything. Which is good. Good, I don't need to because I've already either read most of it or I know the gist of it from playing the past games. So, but uh, yeah, if you didn't, then. Nope. Oh. Obviously, they do. With several arrows to. That is one critical knee you've got right there. But people talk about water on the knee, this is like fucking arrows to the knee. Yeah, I had no idea what I was going through with that, but did a pretty good job. There we go, take that, you bimbo. Probably had nothing to do with it, but... F5. Two. And let's jump over this. Open arrows. Summon the bow. I wonder if you can sneak attack nightingales. Interesting. Oh, I remember this place.
um, the journal at the start talks about everything in here. So it's a little guide to help you um, go through this place. So they talk about, I think it was five challenges. I'm not too sure. I really can't remember that well. But it's somewhat like five challenges. So this one, it's like, first one's kill nightingales. This one is like, um, you basically need to go through without going to the light because the light burns. Good figure, really. So that's, that's how that works. So you go around here, jump over this, uh, go over there. It's it's fairly self-explanatory to be honest. So you jump over there. There's a couple ways to do it, but that's the that's the way I know how to do it. Then you go to another door. That's F5 right there. It might be it might be I really can't remember all of them. Some may be like kill more nightingales, do solve puzzles and shit. That's not one of them. You don't have to shit on the floor. Uh, that's not one of them, thankfully. Because, uh, to my, to my knowledge, my character doesn't poop. Oh, here we go. This is, uh, one of the puzzles, I believe. Hmm. I'll take a black soul gem. I won't take that. I'll take this. Right, anyway. That was something like give an offering. The most obvious thing is give an offering. If you did that, you would automatically die. I can't remember what it was that killed you, but it's to giving. It's you basically don't have to give anything. But yeah, I can't remember the. I'm kind of ruining the whole aesthetic because I know what to do. But uh, but yeah, what's this one now? Does this kill more nightingales? Might as well have five. I think this was one to do with. Being a stealthy bastard, I really can't remember. Look, unlock a master. Oh, you got the skeleton. Look, you don't even have to try with the skeleton key. A lot of people love it. Like, obviously, I wouldn't be doing this with a regular lockpick, right? Skeleton key doesn't break. At all. So, a lot of people prefer having this over to just doing the night. Hang on, the thing was there. So if it's not there, then is it there? Nope. Right there. Right, there we go. I like, but yeah, many people prefer having the skeleton key over than the actual reward. But uh, considering this is you know, a proper playthrough, I'm going to keep it. Keep the... Uh, uh, not keep the skeleton key, but give it back. Right, you can sneak through this or you can just kill them, so I'm gonna just going to kill them. I like how you don't send shit until I fight, uh, until I, you know. Come on, you bastard. Where the hell did he go? <sighs> Screw you then. You gotta come around here now. Yes, no, maybe. Come on, buddy. Uh, items, potions, more healing. Potions take up a lot of weight as well. I, I didn't really notice before. Blessed in for the ammo. Oh, he's dead. We're just shooting through here. Hey! Hello! Hi! Hi! I can't even- I'm just randomly shooting at this point. Hi! Hi! 
What the? All right, he's dead. <laughs> that guy's not dead. Um, this was the way. This was a door. Hang on. Of course, it's a fucking door. <laughs> Let me take this. Take this. Was there anything around there? Because you can just go to the inner sepulchre now. If that's the case, I'm just going to keep playing until I finish the Thieves Guild because it's not long. And uh, there's no point in me leaving it now and there, is there? Screw it, let's just do the Thieves Guild. Let's just finish it. Now, you can go down there and get some random ass shit. I, I really don't even clue what's there. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going. So, yeah. With this episode, I'm just going to finish the Thieves Guild. Let's go in. So, you either could have gone for the traps or fought them. Don't look threatening at all. Do, 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 do. Ah, if I remember correctly, we have to go in here. Now this is the now this is the one of the people of um the story, Anders. You can read his message. I won't, like, I won't spoil it for you, but basically, hang on. If, if I remember right, no, that one. It. I'm trying to remember what it is I'm supposed to do. I'll have to read the message, won't I? Books uh, and is. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nistrum's clues he'd collected from Lithalus, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes soon. I'm getting hungry. Well, looks like no one came for you, buddy. Okay, hang on. That's no, just. Anders. The key. So you put the key in the floor. That was the whole idea. Alright, now we're done. And replace the skeleton key. Alright, there we go. Hello. My mom. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. Some heroin. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. I was joking if you didn't go. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the pride. Yeah. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, mighty girl. See to it the key stays this time, won't you? What up? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. All right. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow. 
The half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect from all right, all right. day. Now, your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Or it's the end for me. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. All right, anyway. Choose your path. And your journey will be complete. What's this one do? You uh Gallus. He's already picked. I never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my lord? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye. Sandwich, I give a fuck, don't you? Oh, are you supposed to go in there? We done? I don't have a clue what the hell my power was or what I picked, but does it matter? Probably not. This is the one. You must wait if. Okay, how do I even check? Uh, active effects. You'd think it'd be in here, wouldn't you? Um. No. Powers. Oh, people and creatures in the spell. Okay, that's that's my power. I take it. So how do I get out of here? So this way. But uh, that is the Thieves Guild. Now, oh wait, let's just go to the entrance. Let's get out of here first. There we go. But. Uh, yeah, as I said, that is essentially the Thieves Guild. You can go to the guild and say, well, you're done. You are d you, you go to the guild and you can be like, hey, I did it. And then Brynjolf's like, awesome. Everyone else is like, awesome. Well, they didn't know about the Night Guilds, but Brynjolf's like, awesome. And then, then you're not formally the head of the Thieves Guild until you do the extra stuff. But uh, you essentially are already. It doesn't matter. You've done it. Um... So yeah, that's 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 that, essentially. So we've done the Thieves Guild. It's weird that we've done it in, frankly, two and a half episodes or two and a half sessions of me. Like I told you, it was only like four hours, five hours, something like that. So all we have left to do now, guys, is just to do the main story. Um, as I said, which is where is it? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Meet Delphine. And, and then we continue on with that. And for that, we gotta go get Feindral back, and I'll make the dragon armor and give all that to him. So, uh, so that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and these sets of episodes that I've done this week. And uh, I will catch you later, guys. I will see you next week when I start doing more of this. And uh, we'll be done with this game soon. And uh, that's not me going, yay, we're done! But, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to what I'm going to be doing after this, which, uh, as many people know, is going to be Dragon Quest VIII, known as my favorite game. But anyway, guys, that's not the air yet. Um, we're done with the Thieves Guild now, so the guilds I wanted to do are done. And uh, I'll see you in the next set of episodes when I start going ahead and uh, doing the main storyline again. I'll catch you later, guys. Have a great day, and thank you for watching this series so far. I'll catch you later.